going to now do the well-known bit of Hamlet's advice to the players. What's more interesting for an audience here is not that Hamlet's saying it, but that at this point in the play, one of the characters make us think about the nature of theatre. That's, that's very Shakespearean. Speak the speech, I pray you, as I pronounced it to you, trippingly on the tongue. But if you mouth it, as many of our players do, I had as lief the town crier spoke my lines. An actor trap is to play the mood or the emotion or the general results of a speech rather than that speech coming out of something lived, discovered and worded in the moment. Suit the action to the word, the word to the action. With this special observance that you o'erstep not the modesty of nature. For anything so overdone is from the purpose of playing, whose end, both at the first and now, was and is to hold as toward the mirror up to nature, to show virtue her feature, scorn her own image, the very age and body of the time, his form and pressure, his form and pressure. Any ideas? That statement of Shakespeare's says something to the audience about why you were doing it, we're doing, working on Shakespeare at all, and why do we do it today? Our lives and the life of the theatre is about the pressure of the moment. And therefore, a good play, well acted, makes that bridge between the modern and the contemporary and the Elizabethan. We are, for good or ill today, in a culture that is primarily visual, rather than verbal, but if you've got a great and timeless writer, what the actors and director have to do is to take a modern audience into another world. Time melts. That's what I'm after. The average audience in a theatre don't really listen to complex language unless the actor shares it, makes them listen, argues it well and communicates it. We seem to have lost that love of language. And while it's a pleasure to do Shakespeare, it's also, um, there's a challenge that's being posed for a contemporary actor. There are certain tools, certain techniques that have to be sharpened. And so if, if Shakespeare's gonna stay alive in the 21st century, I, I think it's up to the actors.